Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I bend rebar to make squares and or rectangles or stirrups, whatever you want. And it's using some basic tools. So I've just got a square to, to make sure I get it right. <laughs> a stump or a tree log, something solid to drill into. Uh, a drill to drill it. Uh, what else? Oh, a bit of pipe for leverage. I've got a hammer down there as well. And some rebar to bend. <laughs> so, first things first is draw one side of your square. Well, I, I'm going for a rectangle this time. So I need a 20 by 13 centimeter rectangle. I think the hardest part of doing this is actually getting the measurements right and transferring that onto the log because obviously once you have the template then you're going to do them all the same so you might as well spend a bit more time in getting that right and then it's plain sailing so I need them like I said 20 by 13 so after minus from that the thickness of this because my measurements are from the measurements I need are from the outside of the rebar to the outside of the rebar so make sure you know what you actually need if it's centers outside or inside so that's 20 minus 0.6 on one side minus 0.6 on the other so that will be 18.8 and then I do recommend taking off like a mil or a mil and a half from each side just to allow for the bend so if we take off a mil and a half that'll be let's say one mil that'll be 18.6 so I'll just measure out. So that is going to be, okay, that's 18.6. And then for the other side, I need 13, so minus 1.4. So that'll be 11.6. So 11.6 on this side. Now be careful, my, my screw is going here, so I have to take that into account. So it has to be from there, very good. 11.6 so we can start screwing them in now I'm using hexagonal I think 10 mil screws they're quite thick you can use nails but I find these work much better and the only thing now is just try and drill straight <laughs> all you need is five five of them if you're doing a, if you're making a, a square or a rectangle anyway. Okay, now this has the edge of the bolt has to be on the edge of the line. Just to be sure, to be sure. Does that look good? No, a bit more. That is good. Just make sure that it is 18 oh 18.6 nice okay next one which was the 11.6 okay okay now that you have the three corners in now you want to get your 6mm rebar, so this is going to be 6, 13, 20, 13 and 6. So the 6 is just for the overlap, so it doesn't have to be exact. So for the first bend I have to make sure that it's less than 6cm, so I can do that first small bend. But normally, I'll start with this one so you know what I mean, put that up against it. Put another screw pretty much in the middle, just so when you bend, it doesn't bulge outwards. That looks good. And be careful not to push it, push the bar this way when doing this, because I mean, six mil isn't super thick, you know. Okay, that's good. This one, I might bring it up a tiny bit, you'll see why soon. 
Okay. And now the same again for this side, but I'm not going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it a bit closer so I can do that first six centimeter bend. So put that up against it so you know you're getting it right. Put that where you need it. That looks pretty good. There you go. That's my 20 side. That's my 13. This is closer so I can get that first small bend and last. And yeah, that's the 20. So let's get bending. First one doesn't have to be perfect. So when you're bending, just take it slowly over the top of the middle one come around and keep going just so you get that tight bend on the corner and just pull it and then go like this and bend it back oops okay so that's your first bend now for the important ones It takes a while till you, once you start doing them, it takes a bit of time till you start getting the hang of it. But then when you do, I was doing them in under a minute. Now when you do, when you're going to take that bend, make sure that this side is touching the edge of the bog because you'll end up being a bit wonky. Now you can see there's a small bend here, but I can fix that with the hammer. You'll see soon. So same again, I'm taking it all the way past so I can get that tight bend over here and then back about 90 degrees and you can take it off. So now you have two of the main sides done or three but this isn't important and so now I'd, I'd like to straighten it out a bit. So back in there and just eye it. Okay, and if you see anything bent like that, just straighten it out. Maybe open this a bit. Okay, next two bends. Goes in there, that goes there. Make sure this is nice and tight up here, touching, and that's touching all the way back and under. Okay, now you need the pole or something for leverage. Just got a piece of hollow section here and just bend it all the way back. And that's it. Now just arrange it a bit. Bend this back. And bend this back. And there you go. Pretty quick. Let's measure it just to be sure. Thing to thing, 20, 20. 13 and 13 awesome okay so that's done hopefully this video helped you guys if you're trying to bend rebar this is only with six mil and then after this i'm going to be on the eight mil but i need to bend them into l's so i'll see how i'll do that when the time comes um before i go though if you need to tie these with wire if you've got loads it really is worth investing like 10 euros or something on one of these, the twisty spring loaded thingy bob <laughs> that's the technical term. Um, got these off Amazon and also got these. I think they're six inch with loops, thousand for seven euros, I think, something like that. We'll put the links in the description below for the Amazon. So you can, if, if you need them, you can buy them off Amazon. 
Um, I'm really happy with them. They're gonna save me a lot, a lot of time. In fact, I'll quickly show you how it works. I did try putting the thing around twice, but I find it gets tighter just once. So I'm very, very happy that I bought this tool, I tell you. Because it's gonna say it already has saved me loads of time. Boom. One. And there you go. Homemade squares, nice and easy. I think I was taking a minute to do them, not tying them as well. And this was, I think, around the 10 euro mark, but there were two of them. The other one has got a flat tip, so I think it's like for boxes and stuff like that. All right, that's it from me. Hopefully this video will help some of you out who are trying to bend rebar and want to find a easy, pretty easy way and consistent. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.